We are here in the city of Cáceres, UNESCO World Heritage Site, a region I've been lucky enough to be in a few times to have some friends from here, and we're gonna eat and drink our way around the city and get some culture into this little man's face. So first we're off to get a little bit of lunch. Uh, the days are gonna be 39, 40 degrees while we're here. We've got a couple of day trips planned as well, but the key is basically taking it easy. Steve, what are your thoughts about having our first meal, our menu del dia, our, in the Centro Cafe, Centro Restaurant? Better be good. How much are we spending on a three course meal? 10 euros. That's silly, isn't it? Well, it, you know, maybe it's in the end. <laughs> we'll we might see idea. if it's worth it, yeah. The first dish, what's the name, Steve? Red crumbs. Red, red crumbs, migas. I've had lots of angry debates with Roque, my business partner, about how I think this is the worst dish in Spain because it's just fried bread crumbs with like chorizo and garlic and stuff. Sometimes they put an egg on top and some grapes in it to make it a bit happier. You know what it reminds me of? No. Bread crumbs. <laughs> the 10 euros gets you a plate of, to be fair, not awful breadcrumbs. I've now gone for some meat with a blue cheese sauce. We're, we're gonna have plenty of time, Steve and I, to do all of these fancy wanky bars that I found, but right now all we wanted was a quick meal. And then we're gonna brave the 39 degree heat <laughs> and walk around the old town. Extremadura. Uh, it does not mean extremely dura, extremely hard. It means the extremos of the Duero, the last fronds of the Duero. Uh, I don't really know why it's called that because the Duero is miles away. Um, it's a frontier land. Um, we're talking Romans, Visigoths, Moors, and later Portugal as antagonists. So there's lots of castles, lots of fortresses, and as a result, lots of dramatic buildings. Cáceres was one of the first uh, places in Spain to receive the UNESCO seal of approval. I think it was 1986, I might be wrong. And the preservation is frickin' nuts. Everything is pristine. And it was used in films and series like Game of Thrones, for example, because it's ready to go. It might be the heat or the fact that it's August who the hell comes to Shemadu in August. All the fact that it's literally lunchtime, there is not a soul in the old town. We have it all to ourselves. It's kind of weird. Oh, it's nice. So from medieval, we transfer down to the Juderia, the Jewish neighborhood. So we've come out of an evening, and um, before we go for some food, we're gonna go for some beers. So we're going to a place called La Tizia de Balona, craft beer bar, and then we'll get some food after that. So we're in La Tizia, and these guys have their own brews. So they've got the Bellona beers and the Tizia beers. They have their own stuff from Cáceres, where we are now, and from Trujillo, where we're going tomorrow, where they have the brewery. You also have some other stuff uh, by the can and by the bottle. I feel like I'm at home, it tastes like a bit of John Smith bitters. Salud. And now we're heading to a bar called Trinidad, and Trinidad is a little tucked away bar, and the theme is the Catholic Church. After you, please. Hola. Hola. Oh, I need 
first thing is beer chicken wontons. Mm. Okay. Steve, how's the salad? I don't want to admit. <laughs> like the one times, but the super spicy bravissimas bravas. It tastes like bolognese sauce. Yeah, spicy but bolognese. I'm into that. Next day was for a Our body's rubbish, isn't it? Steve, how is your religious experience at Trinidad? I'm a religious man, unlike you. I, I believe in higher powers and such. So you believe and I, in... And I, I feel you're a heathen. Uh, that's why I came on the ship with you, to see if I could castigate you into believing into something beyond yourself. But that's just not going to happen. So it was fun. So you like the wines, yeah? Good morning, day two. I'm a bit fuzzy, must have been all the sacramental wine last night. We're going for breakfast at a little cool cafe bar um, called Zeri's Coffee Roaster, which we saw last night. And it promises to be wonderfully hipster. Trujillo, uh, home to one of the most famous conquistadors, Pizarro. It's basically this whole town's built around the memory of him and the riches of those new world conquests in the 16th century as well, where he, with a band of 200 men, essentially took over in you know, the Inca Empire, founded Lima. And what you have as a result is essentially a perfectly preserved medieval town dedicated to these hardy men who wanted to leave Extremadura and found the new world. So the 16th century was a time when manly men did manly things and great things. Not necessarily good all the time, but impressive feats of travel and, and conquest. And this town also, for us, which is quite good, is scattered with a couple of these little museums. So instead of spend, spending all afternoon burning in the heat, we are going to try and see some of these little local museums um, and learn a little bit about why all the young men from Extremadura were the first on the boats to get to the new world. God, I'm tired already. going to try to go to Pizarro's house because Pizarro was born here. His dad was influential in setting the city up. Um, his dad, by the way, was called El Largo because he was famously well endowed. So make of that what you will. So we're in La Cadena. It's an old hotel here having our lunch. And I want to make a quick word about Vino de Pizarra, which is a specific thing from Extremadura, which is usually produced in small quantities, in homes, in farms. It's kind of like off the grid, non denominational region wine. I think it's kind of a, a Joven, young style wine. And they only really make it in this part of um, Extremadura. And um, it's apparently really rough and really strong. It's only 13% alcohol, um, but the Pitarra wine is a local style of wine, exclusive to here. And I think we might be having some with our lunch. Lovely. <laughs> So having had our fill of conquistadors and food and free wine, we're now going to head back to Cáceres for a siesta and then probably more wine.
we're here at Taparia 8. Uh, it's been a bit of a stressful <laughs> evening for me because everything I thought would hopefully be open is not open. And so we were struggling to find something open Tuesday in the middle of August. But this place has got some pretty decent reviews. So we're going to try a few little bits and bobs from here, have some brewskis and then see where the night takes us. Get a test. Mm, okay. So we've got moussaka with cod al pil pil. All very creative, affordable, not bad. We're heading into the old town, Steve. Why? Why are we going to the old town? Uh, I think we're doing a, a nighttime, a nocturnal tour. No, we're going for gin tonics. So we're on our way to find gin tonic, but then Steve noticed this nice little terraza in a little bar called Las Claras. Las Claras, and they have the magic words craft beer on tap. So we're having craft beer on tap out on a cute little plaza. And then we'll go and find some gin, I'm sure. Frank. I feel so far away from you, Steve. It's better for me. Is that good for you? Yeah, I thought so. Yes, Jim, yummy. Steve and I are heading off to the bus station again. So we're going to try and go to the far flung village of Alcantara near the Portuguese border. It's about eight in the morning, so we need some caffeine stat. Alcantara is pretty much as far as you can get from anywhere in this country. So it took us an hour and a half to get here from Cáceres, which in itself is three and a half hours from Madrid. And we are about 10 kilometers from the Portuguese border and there's basically nothing else <laughs> full stop around here between us and Portugal. So we're gonna have a little breakfast here. It's already quite warm. We're gonna go and see the old town and then we're gonna see a 600 and something foot bridge uh, built by Emperor Trajan. Modernist houses for the bourgeoisie of the day. Alcantara is Moorish or Arabic for the bridge, Al, the Cantara bridge. And that's what we're going to go and see now. We're leaving the town a little bit already. Despite going on about, about this Roman, which it is originally, this has been damaged over the years quite a bit, uh, specifically by <laughs> The English during Wellington's campaign in the Napoleonic Wars. Um, but the majority is, as you see, an enormous and one of the loftiest and grandest uh, Roman bridges ever made in the empire. It is really warm. Steve and I are walking through 39 degree heat to lunch to a place called Restaurante Ca... Cantara? Cantara in a reformed monk's refectory slash convent slash flour mill. <laughs> no idea, but it looks quite beautiful. My favorite kind of cheek is the beef cheek. Status report, the Carriera is delicious. Would you agree? Huh? Would you agree that the Carriera is delicious? Yeah, delicious. Tender. Stringy. <laughs> but in a good way. A good type of stringy. One thing I didn't like about it, a bit cheeky. So we've just finished, oh crikey, it's like a hairdryer. Just finished our lunch, it's... Oh. I pray for a hairdryer. I, I wish it were a hairdryer. I wish it was cold as a hairdryer. We're gonna head back the town to the bus, head back to Catherine's, conk out for a couple of hours, and then our final evening 
in Extremadura commences. This is insane. How are you enjoying this heat, Steve? I'm not. Oh, really? No. No? Awful. Ah. But I still look great. <laughs> <laughs> So we're currently in La Minerva and I came here with my parents a few years ago and it was one of our favorite restaurants and we managed to bag a table. We're currently going through the ordering process and drinking local wines. Tuna tartar, look at this fancy. <laughs> We've had some croquetas stuffed with wild mushrooms. We have had some solomillo cooked with mushrooms again in a balsamic glaze, I think it was. And now we have this final dish. If you would observe, please, Steve. I'm going to ruin the artwork. A cannelon of duck. Ooh. Very good. You should try it. A lamb. Last day in Cáceres, and we're going to Café Bar Vivaldi, which keeps being shut every time we try to go there. We're not going there out of any sense of amazing quality, but more for the emotion of it. Because this is the first place I ever went to in Cáceres uh, with my friend Elena back in the day. Now, when we were here, we had tigres, which are croquetas mixed in with a mussel. We had various other savory dishes. We're going to have bread and tomato with ham here, because it is the morning but I'm glad I finally ticked this off the list. So La Marocha, was recommended to me. There are some Argentinians and they are friends of the sister of my friend Esther, who is from Badajoz. So we're hoping we're gonna get some meat and some nibbles and we're gonna be inside because it is obscene outside. Peppers, roasted peppers, tuna, and a vinaigrette. I was told I have to have thorangoyo, and here it is. We have art, and then we have Steve's little jar. Oh, isn't that cute? That's all from us in Catheres. Uh, so if you like this absolute tripe, feel free uh, to, what should I do, Steve? Like, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed our little passe through Extremadura. We're now gonna go to the train and get some aircon. See you next time. <laughs>